a bodybuilder at its root is concerned with self-development through self-mastery. Everybody's on steroids. Everybody. Look at the guys in the Olympia stage. And you're hitting a pose. And, and then you're like... <sighs> when it comes to talking about what choice should be made, it's that unenhanced bodybuilding is the way to go. This is time right now for natural bodybuilding to grow, where everybody's seeing that health is the most important thing. I was never going to be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. You know what's interesting? Um, it seems like right now it's a lot of guys coming up and it can go, the Olympia can go so many different directions. But then when Ronnie Coleman, he ruled the Olympia for eight years straight, and then Phil Heath ruled the Olympia for seven years straight. And it's almost like I compare them to, you know, because like um, in a Ronnie Coleman era, there were so many guys that were great, like, you know, like Kevin Lavroni, you know, so many, so many guys that were just excellent bodybuilders, but they could never beat him, you know? And also in your era with Phil Heath, like, like it was you, so many guys that were amazing bodybuilders, but just Phil Heath was just, you know what I mean? He was so dominant, you know what I mean? I can always compare, uh, kind of compare them to a little bit, you know? Um, do you remember competing against Phil and, and like remember seeing him on the stage and how challenging it was, like, you know, going there after him, you know what I mean? Or before him or whatever and seeing him, like, do you remember that, those days? Of course, of course I do. Um, yeah, but th this is the difference. It's a small difference between the champion and the other guys who just, not there yet, you know, that's, you know, uh, all this, uh, really, this, this, this details, um, you all, you only can see it if you're like, you know, sitting in front of the stage or see the athlete backstage, you know, and this is a big, big, big difference, you know, uh, if you're just, you know, like, like Phil Heath, you know, he was in the beginning, you know, awesome, great, and then to the end, Many guys came close, like Kai, I came close, but still, you know, it wasn't enough, yeah? And uh, with Dorian, you know, uh, his era and Ronnie Coleman, his era is the same. This all these small details, which make the big difference, you know? But hey, like, like I said, uh, some people say, okay, um, Phil Heath lost because of, of his uh, stomach problem issue, um, I would say, that was that was the problem, you know. Otherwise, he will never lose. But the thing is, he show up showed up twice with this issue, and um, yeah, the judges yeah punished him for that. Uh, but otherwise, if you compare muscle quality and everything else, I mean, there's no comparison. You know what I mean? I mean, if you see this, if you was if you were able to see this once, how different they look on stage. You know, and they're all great bodybuilders, but that small difference, you know, or these, these small details make a big difference.